Thank you. What was Thank mindset you. when you cheated? Khloe Kardashian and Kris Jenner got into a heated conversation in the latest episode of The Kardashians. Access Hollywood is breaking down that explosive chat as well as other moments from the episode like Kim Kardashian revealing how her ex, Kanye West, reacted to her hiring a male nanny, and Scott Disick's daughter, Penelope, hilariously roasting his dating life. Chloe and Chris had a tension-filled conversation on Thursday's episode of the hit reality show. It all started when the momager asked the Good American co-founder about her ex, Tristan Thompson, specifically what she'll feel when he meets someone else. I mean, I don't know until I get there, but... I want him to move on. Like, I want him to find someone and to be happy and whatever that means. But with all that being said, I remember Lamar and I were divorced already or separated, I forget. And the first time I saw him with someone in a magazine or online somewhere, and I remember it still stung. Aww. But I didn't want to be with him. Yeah. And then after the first time, I like, then you get over it. And the same goes with... Tristan, I imagine that the first time he is with someone, yeah, it will sting a little bit. I don't know, but I think that's probably normal. The 39-year-old then explained that it is frustrating knowing Tristan will one day be a better partner to someone else. Tristan's a great guy. If you don't think it infuriates me that I basically helped mold this person to who he is, and now the greatness of him gets to be shared with someone else, yeah, that's very frustrating for me. But that's no reason for me to just... To settle for something. To settle for yeah. someone that didn't feel this way about me. Everyone was thinking about themselves. Everyone. Yeah. From all the girls, they were thinking about themselves. To Tristan, every time this happened, like... Right. No one ever thought about me. And yeah. so what I'm doing right now is I'm thinking about me. When Chris kept talking to her about it, she turned the tables, asking her about an alleged past infidelity. Thank you. What was Thank mindset you. when you cheated? You're asking me? So who, who the else am I talking to? Fans will have to wait until the next episode to see the resolution of that conversation, but Chloe isn't the only member of the Kardashian family who gave an update on their love life. Kim also talked about dating, specifically what she is looking for in her next partner. There's cute guys. In yeah, bad. there might be some I mean, cute like guys. Why are you all looking no, 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 at me? <laughs> I'm saying I have age it. limits, guys, and I'm... 18? You're like, after my last experience, I have age limits. I need just a little bit more age appropriate. Yeah. I need, like, 40s. Really? Yeah. Well, I like it. Yeah. I'm into that. Listen, when you're single and all your friends are married, it's like you have desperation written on your face and everyone under the sun wants to hook you up with someone. I'm genuinely just okay being by myself for a minute and the right situation will come my way. Speaking of Kim, she went on a fun bonding trip with her seven-year-old son, Saint, taking him and his friends on an epic soccer tour in London and Paris. I try to find what my kid's passion is and do a trip with them. I've taken Chicago and her friends to San Diego. They love the zoos and the Legolands and all of that. Luckily, Sam just tags along, you know. North loves Paris and fashion, so I took her to Paris. You look so good. Saint loves soccer, so I figured this is our trip. It's gonna be so much fun, and it definitely just is such an amazing bonding experience. Although Kim says the trip is great for spending quality time with her son, she did admit that sometimes she wishes she had a partner to help her discipline the kids. On the topic of raising her two sons, Kim revealed how her ex-husband, Kanye West, reacted to her hiring a male nanny. I do think that my household and even in our family, it's like very female dominated. Should we take a girl's pick? Yeah, let's do it. And I recently hired a manny. I really wanted a male around that was going to be picking them up and taking them to sports. And I was scared out of my mind to tell their dad that. When he was dropping off the kids, Kanye introduced himself, played two-on-two -two with Satan him, has been so nice to him, saying, hey, if you're going to help raise my son, because he handed him the ball like really easily or something. And he's like, don't do that. Make him go get it himself. These are like some of the rules that I would want. And I was like, oh my god, OK. That's great. Sane isn't the only Kardashian kid who made an appearance this episode. 
Fans got to see Scott Disick and Kourtney Kardashian's 11-year-old daughter Penelope hilariously roast her dad's dating history. I we want him to have a girlfriend. Scott's love life was a main topic of discussion in this week's episode after Chloe and Chris learned he isn't dating because he's focusing on himself and his kids. If you had the opportunity mm -hmm. to meet the perfect girl, what does that look like on uh, paper? You like, know, how tall are you? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I think Scott probably has a crush on Chloe. Listen, I have a crush on Chloe. Everyone has a crush on Chloe. The cameramen all have a crush on Chloe. Yeah. Paxi has a crush on Chloe. You know, if we could just find somebody who comes close, we know what he's looking for. She's funny, she's kind, she's mm -hmm. sweet, she's mm -hmm. cute. Aww. She's, you know, she's got all the characteristics I want. That's what Aww. I'm saying. Yeah. Obviously, I would never look at Chloe sexually, even ah. though I make jokes like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I just mean somebody who doesn't give up on somebody. Like, you yeah. know, because I have been through, like, a lot of different things. Yeah. I definitely know I'm not easy, and I'm not perfect. After learning what the Lord is looking for in his lady, they asked his daughter to weigh in, and her response was priceless. Older? Yeah, older than what he's used to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He was saying late 20s, but I said young 30s no, is fine. No, 20s? Whatever. Exactly. Uh, You're 40. Uh-uh. <laughs> You're not going to date someone 19. Ooh. I would. Yeah, he would. But it's no. not a good look. But we gotta get yeah. over it, because you're not gonna find the girl you want. No. Good personality. Mm-hmm. She can be pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm allowed to have pretty? Yeah. Thanks. This is not Someone who goes to the gym, because oh. you need to go to the gym also. To motivate you. I would screen them all first. But before Chloe and Chris reached out to a real matchmaker, they asked one more person for their thoughts. Rob Kardashian. Rob, what do you think is the perfect girl for Scott? I don't know. Or... Oh, never mind. Okay. After they submitted all their findings to a matchmaker, Chloe and Chris met at them one final time by meeting them in person. But Chris didn't just have Scott in mind. Turns out she was also looking for a girl for Rob. Who are you doing these screenings for on the date? Listen. I'm a mom, and I always have Rob in the back of my mind. So, you know, it's just like a little thought. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Thought, just period. A thought. Scott did end up going on a date with one of the ladies. Although Scott might not see a romantic future with her, he said he wants to keep her in his life because he loves her positive energy. I know this is like a blind date. <laughs> like, I don't know how that works to see each other after, but... I feel like you should be like my life coach. <laughs> okay. I want to learn to yeah, be the sad. You will. It's within you. <laughs> I promise. But honestly, it's really, really cute. Thank you.